2012 is an amazing year to premiere this film and to get it out into the world. It's an election year. The gay issue is always a political football. I've never had a film that I believe can be such a useful uh, story uh, in making the world a better place. And the timing is just right. My name is Mackie Alston, and my new film is Love Free or Die. It's in the U.S. documentary competition at the Sundance Film Festival in 2012. Bishop Jean Robinson is the first openly gay bishop in Christendom. And when we meet him in the film in November 2007, as a result of his election, his consecration, the American church has said no more. No more to gay bishops, no more to same-sex weddings. His election threw a wrench in the whole system. By the end of the film, as a result of Jean's courageous stand, the church has done a 180, and now more gay bishops are being consecrated, same-sex blessings are being blessed in churches, and his state, New Hampshire, has come around on the gay marriage issue. So really because of this one guy's leadership, the world has changed, both in church and in state. I feel like Love for Your Die was the film that I was born to make. Religion is my family business. My father, my grandfather, my great-grandfather were all Presbyterian ministers. And I'm named for them, and I'm gay. So that wasn't my um, career track. The opportunity to reach um, religious America, and some 91% of America uh, says they believe in God, with a film that doesn't make fun of what it means to be Christian or religious, but instead has great respect for that, but at the same time, low tolerance for that when it's paired with prejudice. Uh, I'm really excited about reaching those folk, as they will recognize themselves in the film, both in the straight folk as well as in the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender people, and see that they don't have to leave their Christianity behind in order to stand on the right side of history.